Alrighty, welcome back. So, there was an explosion, and we're gonna investigate. We gotta head to the lake, and, um, hopefully not see any dead Magikarps there. I will be pissed. But, uh, I think we we'll just gotta... What's the quickest route here? Go to Veilstone or Pastoria? Look shorter this way. We're going, we're going here, and then let's, um... Let's go beat up some Galactic dudes. We have kind of... The team that I'm currently bringing is a team that needs leveled kind of the most out of anybody, so I'll give you a, a quick rundown here. Stop. I'm bringing this Kranidos because I want it to be useful eventually. Uh, everybody else is kind of mons that are a little lower level than the rest of them, so... Um, like, I'm bringing tricks even though I already have Lucky Charms, but that's okay, so... I'll take your hold item. Thank you. It's always... Can't, always the, the pickup's coming in clutch for that thing. Uh, but yeah, let's head to the lake and see what the hell's going on over that way, shall we? Uh, so there were some dudes blocking here, and we find out now that they were bad guys, because they were just covering up what was going on at this lake. Also, it took them forever to blow up the lake, apparently, because that was a while ago that they were blocking that. But now we're allowed in, and here we are in Lake Valor. Um, it's not looking like much of a lake. There's freaking lava. Is there usually lava coming out right there? Interesting. I think... Can I... I can avoid battling that guy. Nice. No! The carp! Hold up. My dude. Free... Help my guy! Just like grab a cup of water and splash it on my dude. How can they do this to the Magikarp? Also, whatever happened to all the other Pokemon that were in this lake? Like, are they just only the Carp survived? Apparently, the other ones just got obliterated. The Carp are resilient. How could you hurt a precious angel like Magikarp? I mean, this one's shiny, so he's a little more precious than normal. But look at the size of this lad. Absolute freaking unit. Every once in a while, you just gotta show off the carp, you know? So we're just gonna pretend like these carp aren't just suffering. But, uh... I guess we probably should battle some of these people. Because I do kind of need some levels. On some of the Pokémon on the team, so... Let's see what we got going here. I like your stance. Just Lamios, though. Boy, would it be cool if one day... They decide to make evil teams have cool Pokémon, you know? Or at least variety. Magikarp and roaches are the only thing that will survive a nuclear bomb. <laughs> Pretty much. And Twinkies. Overwhelming. Yep, that sure was overwhelming for you, I bet. Um, this poor carp, weakly flopping about. He does look like he's weakly flopping. I mean, he's proud. He's dried up. Poor guy. Also, oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Even Team Galactic has no use for Magikarp. Worthless, all of them. Worthless. Why does the why does Pokemon like Nintendo as a whole hate Magikarp so much? There's never been a nice thing said about Magikarp ever, to be honest. Like what for real though? Poor guy, he tries his best. It's pretty crazy that they just exposed lava. What is this Minecraft? This game really wants to be Minecraft, for real. What's up, dude? What do you want? You one of those nitwits we fooled in a guy <laughs> guarding the entrance? Yeah, that's not very nice. Okay, apparently they weren't bad guys. They were just. They were just nitwits, <laughs> apparently. Um, so we'll go in here, there's like a freaking temple in the middle of this lake. And this right here is the Valor Cavern, so... Maybe actually... Do we have do we have to battle here? I don't really remember. I should probably actually not bring just this level 32 Onyx. It's kind of a bad call. So instead I'll bring... Um... Bring a Golem. Better rock. Sometimes you gotta switch your rocks out. Hello? Commander, the mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything's for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. Excuse me? What's up with your hair? It's like Barry, except blue. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided Team Galactic building in Eterna. Hmm. Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child like that. Uh, but anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed, even if they thought the opposition would not be tolerated. Even. <laughs> okay, I said that word. Let's just pretend like that didn't happen. Alright, what's up? What have we here? So, Commander Saturn. I, for some reason, don't remember Saturn looking like this, but... I guess it, they do. Oh, and they lead Kadabra, so that's... Alright, that's some power coming from a, a galactic friend here. Level 35 Kadabra. Frosted Flake does not really enjoy this. Um, I could just go into Golden Gram, probably. You know, it's likely just going to go for... Are they even going to have Psychic? I don't even know... Potentially, psychic, yeah, to reflect. Wow, okay. Always the support Kadabras, which is a bold move. Okay. 
I truly don't remember your team at all. What are you setting up for? And should I be afraid? It's raining inside this cavern. Let's take a bite out of you, even though the even though the reflect is up, still be easy to hit KO. I don't think this thing can really even touch me. So, oh, they switching? Oh my god. Sometimes the AI is good, sometimes not so much, and it's a Toxic Rogue here. Okay, so a little bit of an interesting call, switching into Toxic Rogue on a Psychic type, but that's fine. Um, and paired with the Dry Skin, just gets all that health back. He is moisturized now. So uh, since the Reflect is up, I believe we just click Psychic. Now this thing probably has Sucker Punch. We could take at least one of them though. So uh, I guess we just click Psychic here. Is is my giraffe in, in harm's way? I don't know. I'm just going to click Psychic. Okay, it just goes for Toxic. So, yeah, the guy was like, I must hard switch into this Toxic Croak to get a poison on his giraffe. That is of utmost importance. But, lotion that frog up. He dry as hell. And now he did. Well, that wasn't too bad. I knew bringing the, I knew grinding up this giraffe was going to gonna pay off someday. Dynabase at 29. Nice. Yeah, Trix is 34. Trix is getting there. Okay, being poisoned is annoying, but not too big of a deal. And now we got a bronze orc. Damn, this giraffe ha handles this guy's team entirely. We just go for a crunch here. Okay, but yeah, with the reflect up, it's not going to be too helpful. Ooh, and it has payback. All right. Did not expect this coin to be a threat. I should probably not stay in because I'm poisoned. That's This is not looking very swell. Reflect does wear off, though. Uh, unfortunately, Crunch not going to be quite enough. Let's, uh... Really would be nice if Luxray was Dark-type here. It's probably still better off for me to just go for, like, a Thunderbolt, to be honest. A couple, a couple Thunderbolts going to do the job, and we should be all right. Yeah. Two T-Bolts. And that takes care of it. Now all that's left is that wee little Kadabra, and we should be okay. It is faster. They decide, you know, they're like, you know what? Kinesis is, I think, what's going to save... This battle for me here. Just drop my accuracy. Oh, it actually might. My god. It might actually save me. Psych. <laughs> Gotta make sure you get that rain up still. Like, why is the AI programmed to favor going for rain dance? I mean, I guess that's all this freaking Kadabra is here for, so set up the rain for the Toxicroak, but. It's a dumb play. It's a dumb play. Down goes the Kadabra. I knew you could do it, Luxray. You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us so. Get some monies from him. Thank you for that. Appreciate you. Ah, even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time? That's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Uh, Team Galactic will get three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. And just disappears. How do you do that? Um, nice puddle in here. The legendary Pokemon clearly not here. Which one's here? Mesprit? No, Mesprit's the roaming one. This would be Azoth or... I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was... So, Lake Crisis fixed. I don't know what the hell they did with all the water. Can I fill the water back up? These carps are suffering, damn it. This is all I care about is the magic carps. Well, shoot dang. Okay, wait, so what's the... what's? Do I just go to the other lake now? I'm supposed to go to uh, Lake Ver... Yes, there's the, there's the flag. Thank God for the flag, sir. I would never know where to go. It's like, how did we as kids navigate this shit? Plus, the internet wasn't even as prevalent as it is now. Um, we're just going to fly to Twinleaf and just abandon our poor little Magikarp here because, I mean, there's, what are you, what are you going to do? Just pull out to water Pokemon and tell him to use Surf a thousand times here and just fill the lake back up? That would be ideal. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Hello? Can you heal me? Um, take a quick rest. Thank you. Just right here on the rug. Just don't, don't even bother going upstairs to your bedroom. Okay. Also, if my mom can heal my Pokemon, what even is Nurse Joy's contraption where you put the Pokeballs? Right? If it's just a good old-fashioned nap does the trick, what do we need Poke Centers for? There should just be beds everywhere. <laughs> so here's the other lake. Um, the Magikarp and this one, luckily, are okay. Nobody panic. Hayden, what timing? These Team Galactic scoundrels are after legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Don. Okay. Also, this guy's just staring, just saying nothing. What are you, what's your problem, bro? Ow, ouch. What's with this old-timer? What? Is he... Is he hurting you? Oh, that guy spooked me. I didn't know you did not know you were there. There's two of them. Holy shit. Okay. Well, we're double battling. Glam meow and a Silcoon. You mean to tell me my Pokemon are nearly level 40 and they just bust out a Silcoon on me? I am offended. Also, we can just use Dynabits here. That's fine. 
And yeah, we're just gonna spark. Oop. Oh! Fuck! I accidentally... Oh. I accidentally just used spark on my own crowbat. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna kill him. <laughs> no! <sighs> that would've been hilarious. <laughs> if that killed it. Wow, this, the freaking... The stick really betrays you in this game. <laughs> For real though. Almost had a crisis on our hands, but I think we're alright. And that's the that's the last Pokemon, finally, right? Drake's a 35, very nice. Hello? That would have been the funniest Nuzlocke death so far. <laughs> Pretty much. We've had we've had some bad ones, but that probably would have been the worst one. <laughs> alright. Yes! Finally, brother! Large dinosaur. Guy just did his first battle and he's like, well, time to just turn into something else. I've peaked. <laughs> just got that. He's been carried by the EXP share. Now we are fat with small head. We kind of just switched there. We were small with big head. And now we're, you know, pretty thick with a smaller head. All right. I, I love Rampardo. Such a cool Pokemon. Powerful headbutt has enough force to shatter even the most durable things upon impact. Even the most durable things. Like, I feel like they could have maybe gone a little more descript with that. Alright, well, we're just gonna not do that. Okay. Do we have any moves? Do I have any moves to teach my dinosaur? That is the question. Also, I believe, fun fact, I think you can sort by name, and now it tells you the name of all of them. My god, that's truly the biggest quality of life change that I've ever done. That's actually pretty sweet. So now, I can, you know, don't have to look on the bottom to see the names. Do I have anything to teach this dinosaur? Never gonna use rock polish in a nuzlocke. Get out of here. Back to the lake. There's more guys to beat. All right, so we got another double battle here. Let's do this. Let's put uh, actually tricks and dynabits are gonna have to do it for us. These guys. So help me God if you have another freaking low-leveled silcoon cascoon thing. I will be sending an email right away. Okay, got four Pokemon here. Oh, look at that! Spunky and a beautifully. So finally, at least it's evolved. God. Really hoping that this beautifly doesn't uh, kill Rampart. No, never mind. Just kidding. Damn, Rampardo's killing everything it touches now. This has been this has been worthwhile taking you around with that EXP share for a little while, buddy. That takes care of him, and we should be able to just get to Dawn here now, right? Is that? How many galactic goons are there? Sup? Oh, it's Mommy Mars. Haven't battled you in a while. Uh, she's the she's the one with the perugly, right? So that could be a little bit mildly scary for us. Not really, but you never know. I think they lead Golbat or something. I don't remember. Uh, let's just pour some milk on the tri or on uh, the Dynabits, just in case. I'm even gonna put the dinosaur. Dude, dinosaur oatmeal. I totally forgot about that. You remember the the oatmeal that you would like when you. Heat it up or put water on it or something, the eggs would reveal the dinosaurs? Damn, that was sick. Alright, what's up? <laughs> I can't get over- the characters just look so dumb. That face, it brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the Valley Windworks. I got a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. Oh, did you? What's that look on your face? You do remember me. How can I forget? You're the only person here with red hair. I'm Mars, one of Team Galactic's commanders. How cute. You two think you can save the day in your little game of hero? <laughs> not a chance, not even a teeny one. You're all going down. All right, so are we double battling this or what? Is Don just standing there doing nothing here? So she has three Pokemon and leads with a Golbat. So I have uh, I have Rampardos out here, but I'm probably a little under leveled for this. I don't know what levels you got here, but let's take a look. Um, 37 versus 31. Now I don't think Golbat has anything for me unless this thing unless they get like a better Drain move. I don't think they do. I'm just gonna click Rock Tomb here. U turn! Man! Okay. So, going into. I mean, something's gonna take some damage. Oh, Bronzor. Wow, okay. That was actually a play. That was a play. These Bronzors are kind of just annoying. Um, do a little chunk there, and Rampardos unfortunately did not get to throw some rocks at that Golbat. Um, but. Now we will go into Golden Graham and just crunch it a couple times. Golden Graham to the rescue. Oh! 
Yep, they always just click paybacks, but we should be okay regardless. It'll be like two crunches, we'll survive. So we're just we're just gonna designate Golden Graham to kill this thing as long as we don't get critted. I think we're okay. okay. I hope. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, that does nothing. You, we eat that for breakfast, and we are the cereal. That kills the Bronzer, and now what? We have Golbat and the Perugly. goes back into Golbat. Why you do this? Does nobody know what type Girafferig is? Good God. <laughs> oh, okay, that's why. Did they just faster and go for the U-turn? Ow! Man, just bringing in the Golbat and going for U-turn, that's actually a, that's a Wi-Fi battler type of play right there. Like I said, sometimes the AI does good, and then sometimes not very much. Okay, level 39 for Ugly is actually a little bit frightening. Um... Okay, so we get some damage off on it. I don't have my Machamp with me, which is kind of a mild issue here. I'm going to bring in Lucky Charms just to get an Intimidate on it. Um, I know one of these times I'm going to bring this B team to a battle that I should not have, and this is kind of close to it, because it probably does do some pretty decent damage, but at least after an Intimidate, we'll be okay. I think. Be fake out? No, my god! Stop U-turning! <laughs> That's annoying. Well, I mean, you're forced to go into Golbat, so... It's not a good matchup. You and uh, Lux Ray Luther here, so we're pretty much okay. Bre Did that just say we're breathing in sync with each other? How do they come up with this shit? I'm very confusion. I'm gonna go for a Volt Switch here, and this is actually the first time I've clicked Volt Switch. But it's actually nice because this allows me to. Oh, okay. I thought that was gonna kill it. I was gonna say it allows me to kill that thing, and then I can switch Lux Ray into the. And later to get an Intimidate back on the thing again. Okay, well. <clears throat> um. We're gonna go into. I'm just going to Frosted Flight because we don't need this thing for the rest of the battle. Okay, air cutter to kill it, and then we'll probably we'll probably just be okay with Crobat against the Perugly. I don't know. I don't know what moves that this Perugly is working with, but like Body Slams, the scariest thing from it probably. Tiny bits to 32, very nice. Okay. So, Rugly, level 39. We could probably take one attack from this thing. I'm just gonna go for a cross poison here. Could I just get a crit and kill it? No, I cannot. Oh, is that a citrus? Damn, they actually made this battle actually a little interesting. Oh no, Slash is definitely the scariest, but it doesn't get the crit, and we're actually still even good, so. We stay. Now we're gonna get a cross poison crit, and just kidding. Don't Slash crit me. And we're good. Yeah, okay, even with the crits, we're still fine. We obviously outspeed. We love a speedy Crobat. And that takes care of the Perugly. Okay, so. We've done it! Two of the, uh, you know, commanders taken care of. This is the only lakes we have access to. The only other lake is in Snowpoint, so. I lost again. So first was the Valley Windworks, and now it's Lake Verity that I owe you for. This shouldn't be happening to a Team Galactic commander. Calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all this. My mission was to transport the lake's Pokemon to our HQ. That's right. I accomplished my mission without a problem. Team, we're pulling out. Pull out game strong. Pokemon of the three lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grandstanding at Lake Valor, a cavern appeared here. It was a cavern where the Pokemon Mesprit slept. Mesprit appeared too. Probably go help its friends. Worked out well for us. It was super easy to catch. Man. We're talking about the being of intelligence and the Uxian stuff. Now that we all ha have all three, you can look forward to what Team Galactic has in store for them. Well, well, well. Now the legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Also, Don, thanks for the help. I mean, freaking Rowan's here with his briefcase. I know you got something in there, buddy. Something useful. What about Lake Ac Acuity? Is Barry safe? Nah, we don't care about Barry. Um, so yeah, that pretty much, I think, concludes, like, story up until we, um, you know, continue. So yeah, now we're supposed to head up to the third lake, and, uh, nice. That is a, that is quite the trek up there. We gotta put on our, put on our hawking shoes up there. Now that I have more money, we're going to grab that there winter style. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got the earmuffs and everything. Now we are ready. The snow will be no match for us. <laughs> I wish it could just be like a beanie or something. I don't know. Whatever. So now it's time. 
been a while since we've been to here to Eterna. <laughs> and the bicycle is still as awful as ever, if you were wondering. Um, <laughs> I can't get over the little, the little earmuffs. <laughs> so, we entered here earlier just to catch a wild Pokemon, and we didn't really travel too much in, in here, because we actually didn't have access to any of the HMs that were necessary. Now we can Rock Smash and Strength, and we're just, we just, we're all powerful now. No rocks are gonna give us any worries these days. Because we have the barrels and beauty on our side. It is still hot as hell in Colorado. What was this item? It was rock polish. This whole time, we, we looked at that item and said, wow, boy, I wish I could get that. And I didn't even want it. Freaking rock polish. Man. I think we're just gonna continue north. We can grab an escape rope. Very cool. Hey, what's even what's even out of here? What what are the This just takes us to Oh, this is the route by Celestic, so. Don't need to heck around with that. We're just gonna continue north. Super repel time. Uh, what do you think repels smell like to make wild Pokemon stay away from you? It's gotta be something just pretty foul, you know? Oh! God, it's about foggy as hell in here too. At least it's not like the yellow fog. Ooh, that was nasty. Um, so we just, all we gotta do is just summon the old wild Staraptor. So we've got some water over here. I think there's some items and stuff along the way. Should I surf here? We might as well surf. Right? Might as well just do a little exploring. Uh, ooh. Ooh, piece of candy. A light clay. Actually a pretty useful item if you have a light clay. Uh, as a hold item, it increases the turns of both reflect and light screens. That could be, that could be useful in the future. Those are certain strategies that we're probably gonna have to look into once we get closer toward, you know, uh, the end of the game or at least Elite Four and stuff. So, it was a soft stand, a soft sand. Nice. Okay, increases the power of ground type moves as a hold item. That could be, that could be useful as well. Just another item, and it's a revive. Totally useful here for our Nuzlocke, of course. And I think we're supposed to continue. Oh my God, there's got there's got to be an item down past this way, right? Wow, just one more rock right in the way, and there's a full restore. Okay, so that's fine. We found the outdoors. Is it snowy? It is. Nice. I bet you guys are like, dang. It's a good thing he switched into that into that winter gear. This guy would have been chilly. <laughs> um, so this is actually a new route, most definitely a new route. We can catch a new wild Pokemon here. It's probably gonna be, you know, a freaking Snover, but that's fine. It's gonna be, so it's gonna be a Snover, right? Is, or is there Sneasels? I don't know. It's actually not satisfying that the, gra the, the grass doesn't wipe off the snow as you walk there. Yep, right there, that right there is a Snover, um, which is fine. You know, I actually kind of like Obama snow and stuff, so, oh yeah. Come on. All right, we got it. Ah, oh, <laughs> it has to just be frosted wheat. I ran out of characters, but that's fine. Frosted wheat. Hold up. My dude is hitting the 360s over here. Clean. <laughs> on flat ground on the skis. Got an ice heel. Nice. Damn, he on X Games mode. Um, who should I have in front? You know what, we're, we're leaving Dynabits in front. I think that, I think it's okay. We're probably safe. Hello? I'm fully kitted up and equipped. Any time will be, any time will be fine. Okay. So, how about now? Dang, she is kitted up. Ace Trainer Laura. These Ace Trainers be looking different in the snow, huh? Got a low punny. Hey, that's our first time seeing a low punny. Okay, dead low punny. Kind of surprising that this ace trainer just had one Pokemon it being a low punny, but all right, that's fine. It's still something new. Yo, my guy is dying. Someone help him. <laughs> I cannot climb this small ledge to help my dude, but hopefully he's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go down these icy stairs, which also seem like a, a damn ha hazard. To be ready to answer any call, to be ready to accept any challenge, that's the way of a trainer. Why they gotta be answering calls? So another Ace Trainer here. They have three Pokemon. What do you got for me? Golduck? Man, still just another bad time for Rampardos. Okay. 
Down goes the deal. Golduck? I do still love Golduck. What a cool Pokemon. Underappreciated, damn it. Oh god, it's got Sucker Punch. Man, Golden Gram is a freaking dark type move magnet. <laughs> oh, and it even lived. Hello? Alright, Ponyta. Let's see how you like rocks. Oh no, not Tail Whip. Whatever will I do? Every Ponyta is inclined to just use Tail Whip. Ace Trainer once again caught these hands. Looking pretty stylish though. Let's see what's going on this way. I think that we actually are pretty close to being able to heal. Oh, we got this skier. Hey, I like I like the snow here. Must be snowing pretty hard for it to refill automatically. Hold on, I wonder if there's a... Uh, you can't quite draw dick and balls. <laughs> okay, so yes, I think this is a rest house. Yeah, right there is a nice lodge. So, uh, yeah, they're like, you've, you've had a long journey. Come take a, a nice rest in the same bed that everybody uses. I would like to take a rest. Thank you. Saving potions. Much appreciated. So, feel free to take a power nap in that bed. As you can see, this lodge is simply furnished. Do what you like here. Hmm. Don't have thick fat like some Pokemon. I have to bundle up in clothes to keep warm. Did you just fat shame me in my Pokemon? Uh, anyway, this is... Was this a new... No, so we're still Route 216, but just up ahead 217. So I think this grass actually... Right here. Is this... This is still 216 grass, but there's 217 grass up ahead. But we'll battle this guy. Battle for keeps? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're not playing for pink slips here. Ace Trainer Garrett. Senor Mime? Mr. Mime is just such a goof. Like, what's up? I don't... He keeps me out. You guys remember the, the Mr. Mime from uh, from Detective Pikachu? I still have nightmares about that thing. Uh, what's this thing going to have? I think we're probably okay. It always ends up using some weird, some weird stuff. We're just going to throw some rocks at it and hope for the best. Oh, it lives. True dang. Oh, copycat. That was quite the animation there. I hate how the, the trainers in the background there, like, just disappear and then reappear. It's, it feels weird. Also, the hail is really coming in clutch for us here today, boys. That takes care of the mime. Very nice. I really need a better flying move on this damn crowbat. But, yeah, I guess it does the trick. Down goes Macho. Up ahead. And it, it seems like I think Sneasel might be our only other catch there. That's cool. All right, that takes care of young Sneasel. And, uh... We're just hand delivering lots of L's on this route. Okay. Um, where does it turn into the new route? Here it is. All right, 217. Boy, is this blizzard getting a little crazy on us, boys. What's up? This cold is nothing compared to the fire that burns in my heart. That was nice. <laughs> and that hurts even more. How you like that? How you like that? Bellabird just dies to electricity. Guy's allergic. Poor fella. Ooh, the Psychic just knocks it right out. See you later, Hippo. Giraffe, too powerful. Okay. Your heart burns as hot as mine. Don't you forget it, neither. Guy. Useful. Um, there's so many trainers on this route that I don't think I want to battle, really. Found the TM for Hail. That's a fitting place. Also, I mean, you've got the most inconvenient house here. Just right in the middle of the constant blizzard. Hello? While I was fighting my way through the blizzard, I dropped a TM. I had to move rock climb. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, the t uh, rock climb is here. It's actually, is it literally right here? This guy's a buffoon. TM 100. Nice. Cool. Now we can climb some stuff, I think, after we get the next gym badge. Um, I'm avoiding most trainers, but I'll battle you. Just because you, know, you don't want to avoid all of them. Just, some, just most of them. Lexi, you got a pretty clean fit on too, but a Meryl? That almost negates your clean fit. Why don't you evolve this thing? Okay, the, the hail even took care of it. That was extremely unsatisfying, but... The A button spamming. Just sit there and mash freaking A. <laughs> that takes care of Clefairy Skier, Lexi. Caught these hands. Karate guy here. Oh man, this guy's really... This guy's spinning and walking. He's doing all—he's doing the most. Um, so yeah, we're still on Route 217. I don't, here's the grass. Finally, 
Oh, damn it. They honey dicked me, man. I was gonna go into the grass and catch my Pokemon, but there was someone here waiting for me. Hey, wait, is this thing gonna have lightning rod? Oh my god, it might. No, it doesn't. Your Sea King is inferior. All right, so I think, see, so yeah, the only encounter that we can get in this area is Sneasel, because we already got the Snover, and if there's anything else, you probably already have it. So, first encounter anyway is just a Sneasel. We'll take it. All right, so that's pretty neat. Um, I do like, I do really like Weavile, so this is fun. All right. <laughs> it's remarkable we've gone this long without using Fruit Loops, but there we go. Sneasel the Fruit Loops. Send that to the box. And, ooh, does it came with a Quick Claw? Nice. We'll take that from you. Much appreciated. All right, so we take our Pokemon and go. And we also have the lakefront where we can catch something new, but if I don't think there's anything new here. There's no way there's another. It's Metacham. There's wild Metacham here. Okay. Yes. All right. Everybody's gonna ask why it has that now. Well, Grape Nuts it is. <laughs> we'll add that to the box. And you can hang out there for a little while, my friend. Okay, so yeah, we're at the lakefront now. Um, um, so yeah, there's the... Do I talk to... Do I, should I talk to these dudes now? Hello? Standing guard is a very important assignment. Hmm. Earn a Clefairy, did you just say? What the hell? So I guess, do we do the gym before we do any of that nonsense? We just... Just let our boy Barry chill there by himself. First thing we gotta do is take on the gym. And then... And only then can we save Barry at the lakefront. <laughs> Got a free item here. Nice little Ultra Ball. Okay, replenish the Ultra Ball stocks. Music's still slapping, and we've done it. Snow Point City. What a beautiful city. Bird, this snow snowbound town is always freezing cold, but the spirits of the trainers and their Pokemon burn hot and bright, especially the gym leader. <laughs> cool. Okay. So, uh... Ooh. Music is even... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going down. Music is nice. Well, let's get a heal going, and then I guess there's really nothing else to do for us now until, I mean, we just go right to the gym, I think. So level cap for us is 42. Um, so we're definitely bringing Infernape, that's for damn sure. So what's happening, sailor? There's nothing here, and that's what makes us unique. <laughs> Yeah, there's quite literally not really anything here other than like a damn Pokemon Center, uh, a gym, this lady just chilling right here. Candace is teaching me about Pokemon. She says I have to start by making friends with Pokemon. She's like, and so I came here to just freeze my tits off. Uh, there is the temple. There's a house. Who lives here? Oh, they got a Torchic. I love how my girl has so much vivacity and charm. Tor to Torchic. By any chance, do you have a Pokemon called Metacham? If you do, would you like to trade Metacham for my Haunter? This seems like a great trade, because Haunter will just evolve into Gengar after you trade it. Said everybody ever, and then they found out the hard way that this, we hate. All my homies hate this lady. <laughs> I will not be trading my Metacham to you. That is the worst NPC in all of Pokemon. Changed my mind. Uh, so let's take a look at the old gym. Um, I do kind of think I should probably battle some of these people in here just because You know Rampardos and stuff need some levels, so it's very slippy and slidey up in here You can tell A good trainer goes for the win no matter what their condition is. Oh, yeah, you're damn right Ace hey, trainer Alicia You got a Sneasel. I'm, I've seen too many Sneasels already, and I've only seen like five of them. I knew you could do it, mate. So we come up at Candace at an angle here. Shit! I do the wrong angle every time. <laughs> We're slowly starting to angle it even more. Oh, we did it! <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, yeah, I guess just perseverance is key. 
And uh, that's how you get past doing the ice puzzle, because all my homies hate breaking snowballs. Damn it. Uh, one last little milk for our pal Dynabits here. Some soggy ass cereal. And uh, we're good to go. Howdy. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing. I was waiting for someone tough. Why did you say it like that? Hello? But I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon fashion romance, it's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean. You show me the romance one or. Alright. This here's Candace. And, um, let's see how this goes. I'm not quite at level cap with all my team, but I think we should be okay. Leads off with a Snover, which just seems unnecessary. Why even why even have a Snover, you know? Look, I understand this is the regional Pokemon for its area, but... There's the Snow Warning, which is kind of annoying, but not too big of a deal, because you now you can lay in your Tomb of Rocks, my friend. Which just kills it, so... Down goes Snover. Easy. She also has an Obama Snow as well, right? I don't remember. What else you got? Sneasel. Okay. Uh, we're honestly probably still good to stand on the Sneasel as well. And then... Yep, I'm just gonna click Rock Tomb. Hone Claws. Okay, that's actually kind of scary. Please do not miss... Does it have Icicle Crash? Okay, we hit the rock tomb. And that just kills it. <laughs> Rampardos. Good job, buddy. And pebbles to 40. Very nice. Okay, so just getting hit by some hail over here. Now it's going to get a little more interesting, I believe, as Metacham comes in. Now, Metacham, we can't really stay in and do the same old thing here. Um, and I don't think Metacham has... Thunder Punch? but I don't know what this thing does. I'm going into Gyarados, because I'm going to intimidate it. And old Nipple Knee, about to get nice and scared here. I actually don't really know what to expect from this thing. I mean, it's going to go for a fighting move, probably on the Rampardos. Drop your attack. It bulk ups. Never mind. Okay. That's not good. At least now its attack is just set to nor back to normal. Um, but it now has plus one defense. I feel like I could either switch into Lux right here, get another Intimidate. I don't think this thing has Thunder Punch. I actually don't have anything to base that off of. I just, I just don't think it does. So, you know, it's probably a better play to switch into Lux right here, get an Intimidate, and then just go for special attacks. Yeah, Metacham is my favorite Ice type as well. I'm going into Luxray on the off chance that it actually does have Thunder Punch. <laughs> I truly don't... I don't think it does. There's no way. Um, but at least now we'll get you back to minus one attack. And let's see what this thing decides to go for against Gyarados. Bul bulk Ups again! Candace is setting up out here. So now you're back to just uh, just neutral attack. So this is actually fine. The Hail's doing its thing. And a Thunderbolt should at least do decent damage. Now I could even... If I was a real dick, I could even just Volt Switch, get that damage, and then go into Gyarados for another Intimidate. But... I think I'm just going to click Thunderbolt here. Level 40 Metacham. It does just go for the Brick Break. Oh my lord, that does a lot. Okay. So... Metacham powerful. Um, we know it's probably going to go for Brick Break once again, so I could even just switch into Gyarados. Honestly, the, the Intimidate Switchers, it's quite the play. Quite the play. Let's, um... Let's just go back into Gyarados here. Brick break my Gyarados. Do it. Watch what happens. Unless she heals. Oh no. She heals. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So at least it's back to minus one. Now you're at full. Uh, this is actually quite unfortunate though. I really wish that my Thunderbolt would have killed there. I think I should have... Yeah, okay. Well... It has too much defense to waterfall it. Do you think Thunderbolt would do more damage if this thing has like plus plus on it defense? My special attack is 66. <laughs> special attack in Gyarados is not the play. Hmm. Really just set up on my face and now had it just full restored. So this is not this is no bueno. Hmm. 
probably gonna rock slide. I could go into Wheaties. But this is this is not great. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. I'm gonna stay in. I'm gonna go for one one waterfall here. I, I feel like Gyarados can take at least one attack from this thing. It does go for the rock slide. Doesn't miss, unfortunately. We live that. Easy. Thank you. Thank you so much for not critting me. No, and I flinched though. <laughs> oh, dude, this Metacham is upsetting. Okay, so I'm in quite the bad spot here, lads. Is it gonna go for a rock slide here? Uh, should I go into Wheaties? Oh god. So it's at minus one attack, right? I think I go into I think I go into Wheaties as it rock slides here. It misses the rock slide, which would be amazing. But what do I even have to do in return with the champ here? It does go for the rock slide, it doesn't miss. Son of a bitch. Hail stops. Um, knock off is my best option here. It doesn't even have a hold item. I don't think. Boy, not being able to heal is unfortunate. I think if I go for a knock off here and at least get damage, then I can bring in Infernape to take one attack and then kill it with a flamethrower, I think. I'm assuming Brick Break is just its highest damage here. Oh my god, it's bulking up more. Oh fuck. <laughs> this is so scary. Something's gonna need to die here. Oh, it had an expert belt. Interesting. Okay. Well, this is not good. Seems like something needs to die. It has like plus three defense. It's now at even attack. I honestly kind of have to go into giraffe. Which actually isn't a horror. Well, uh. I'm going into giraffe here. Here we go, Raph. I actually didn't really prep for this Metacham very well. Okay, there's the brick break. And can't take two of those. No, we sure can't. Is this where the giraffe goes down? <laughs> this is not good. I need to save Infernape for the rest of the mods. Um, man, well. I, I've been outsmarted by Metacham. I honestly... Fuck Metacham. Why do you have a Metacham? You're the ice type leader. Some nonsense. I think I just stay in here. Do you think Flamethrower from Infernape kills it? I probably should have level capped Infernape, huh? Probably would have been ideal. I think I, uh, I think I stay in here and click Psyche. <laughs> I really don't think there's anything I can do here to avoid this. So, Giraffe, uh, you have served me well, friend. And you're dead. Really wish you weren't part normal type, man. There goes the giraffe. But now we at least get to bring in something for free, which is gonna be Infernape. And I wish I would have got some more damage on this thing. But big ol' flamethrower. Landed a critical hit wishing to be praised. What? You will not be praised for this, Infernape. That would have killed without a crit anyway, right? Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Well, now it's a bomb of snow. And you do not enjoy fire, so you get the hail back up. I couldn't switch an Infernape because it's not worth risking Infernite being critted or dying, I'd rather let, I'd rather lose the giraffe uh, than, than rather switch in Infernape to a brick break and at like a plus one attack, so. Now, we flamethrower, 
the abominable sn abominable snowman and he did because i think it's four times weak to fire that's it i knew you could do it listen i really wish i hate it so much and candace i'm actually really mad at you because i liked my giraffe rig <laughs> Realistically, the giraffe rig was probably like my least useful mod, to be honest, but I mean, you still, you still hate to see it. I'm supposed to give you this. And there's our seventh badge. So. Yeah, that Obama Snow had Aurora Veil. Interesting. Well, well, well. That ice cold badge I just gave you, because you have it, you can use the hidden move rock climb for your Pokech. Take these two. And we get some stickers. What TM does she give us again? TM 72s. Very cool. And uh, Avalanche. Well, that's useful. So, uh... That Metacham... It's funny that the Metacham was the was the threat. Out of... Out of, uh... You know... Out of the Ice, to ice Gym. The freaking Nipple Knee, man. The freaking Nipple Knee. The Bulk Up was... An unexpected play. So... That, uh... Kind of sucks that we lost our giraffe. It's time to give this fella the proper burial that it deserves. I, you know, I probably should have level capped everybody for that. I got a little too, you know, a little too comfortable there. But Golden Graham, I appreciate you, buddy. Now we can free up, free up a slot and bring back the freaking monk. We have two monkeys on the team. Chimp coming back. So this will be the team for now. Now that we can use Rock Climb, we can finally go save Barry. Guy's been like, hey, I'm freezing my ass off over here. If you could come help, that'd be great. But we're going to take a heal. Thank you guys very much for watching today's episode. Make sure you leave a like on the video and a comment if you if you, uh, if you enjoyed. I appreciate all of, the, all of the interaction and stuff. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you next time.